Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about test methodology and the very first step of the test methodology is to figure out what is the test environment. Okay. So in this video, we are going to focus more into the identification of test environment. So a very typical terms that they call is system under test. Okay. So what is system under test? System under test is everything that includes the, the environment for the system. So that means, let's say you are uh, using a, you, you are building an online uh, retail store. So in that case, you may need a application server. So let's say application server. Then you may need a database server. And also you may need some kind of caching mechanism so that you, know, you can cache uh, the different static pages and so on. Okay. So all these things together constitute test environment. Plus, in our case, we are going to simulate the load using load generators or those things are called the clients okay so this is your system and this is your load generator and then all this thing together constitutes something what is called system under test what are the key considerations so key consideration while looking after the system under test so key considerations are the test system so whatever this test system, it should be exactly replica of production system. Otherwise, you might end up with some results that is very irre irrelevant. And whenever your production system is on, it might give very different behavior than whatever you have tested. So it essentially make sure that your test environment is replica of the production system. And the key constituents of a test environments are hardware. Okay. So when you mean by hardware, I want to know in detail about what kind of processors and what is the RAM and what kind of I/O subsystem that you are you are using. Okay, and also I would like to know about network. So, what are the network architecture and where is the end user location? Are you using any load balancer in front of your system or not? Okay, so those are the network considerations. Then tools so what are the tools that you are using to generate load okay so that means your load generation tools and these tools are like you know there are there are very you know th there are a couple of vendors they have they they sell these tools including hp load runner neo load and there are some cloud testing and load testing tools are also available and also a very popular open source tool called apache jmeter all right and also you understand that you need to monitor your hardware your network your software while test is going on okay so that means some sort of monitoring tools also is part of your test environment okay the next thing is software what kind of software you are installing on this test environment the versions and the patches of software like you know what kind of things that you are you, you are putting on top of the the current version and if you do any tuning or any optimization or whatever okay and also what kind of data volume that you have tested okay so all these things need to be considered while thinking about system under test so here is for example I'm showing you a, a system under test so this thing is taken from tpc.org so you can go and then basically go to this uh, you know website and then find out detail about this so this is how people used to report whenever they talk about system under test so in this case we have a server and that server is HP integrity superdome and if you see this is an itanium 2 architecture and the CPU clock speed is 1. gigahertz and then the L3 cache is 24 MB and then there are 64 processor and it's a dual processor so there are 128 cores are available and then this is the random access memory in this machine is almost two terabyte all right and then these are the client so this is the server hardware and then these are the client hardware and each of this client want to client 95 and then all these things are connected to a switch and the network capacity is 10 gigabyte Ethernet all right and this is about the storage hardware and the storage hardware is 126 HP storage works MSA 1500 and then all those information about the about the storage all right and also look at this here 
we have installed the software so this is Oracle 10G release 2 database with enterprise edition and then running on operating system which is HP UX 11 version 3 so you need to draw this kind of diagram like you know what is the server and how they are connected what is their you know what is the layout of your test environment so that you need to keep okay so this is what is called system under test all right so thank you so much for your time and see you in next video